Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Junid Ridian Syahdanis, third semester students of English Education Postgraduate Program of FKIP in Bengkulu University. As the presenter of first international conference on teaching of English and literature on October 27, 2020 via Zoom meeting. In this opportunity, I would like to present my paper entitled An Analysis of Discourse Markers Used by Students in Writing Argumentative Text. Without any further ado, let's jump right in into introduction section. There are some reasons that pursue the researcher to conduct this research. First, students' confusion in conducting texts using discourse markers, or DMS. Second, lack of students' ability in choosing appropriate DMS. And the last is students thought that DMS do not really play an important role. And then, the objective of this research is to find out the dominant category of DMS and the accuracy on using DMS by the fifth semester students in English study program Bengkulu University in the academic year of 2018 and 2019. We come to methodology. The design of this research was quantitative and qualitative research and the subject of this research were fifth semester students of English study program Bengkulu University in the academic year 2018 and 2019 with total subject 78 students because according to Arik Buntul 2003 if the subjects less than 100 it will be better to take all the subjects and then the research in instrument used was test and the data will be analyzed by using P equal to F per N times 100%. And then the technique of collecting the data, first selecting the topic and then second distributing test to the subject and the third collecting the test from the subject, four analyzing the accuracy of students in using the MS and fifth, categorizing the MS based on Fraser 1999 and Martinez 2004. And then the next is analyzing the result of the test by using percentage formula. And then analyzing the accuracy of the DMS used in the argumentative text based on Kao and Chen 2011. And then converting the result into the table. And the last is displaying the result of data analysis. And then the result of this research was the dominant discourse markers found was elaborative DMS, the which the frequency was 117 and the percentage is 33.71%. With a total of discourse markers, 345 uh, discourse markers or 78 students. And then uh, the inappropriateness criteria, the total of inappropriateness DMS is 18 and the percentage is 5.19%. And then we come to discussion. The dominant type of DMS was elaborative markers or also markers. Because according to Rahimi, the students tend to elaborate more because the most familiar markers that they know are elaborative discourse markers. And the inappropriateness found in this research were overuse, wrong relation, and then semantic incompletion. Incom And then we come to conclusion and suggestion. From this research, uh, we can conclude that the, the dominant DMS was also, and then the students are aware of 
how to use these course markers appropriately. And then, from this research, uh, the researchers can suggest to their students to understand uh, the types and function of DMS in English. And then, for the lecturer, it can it can help lecturer to creative teaching strategies in learning writing and using DMS. And then. This research also can help future researchers to find better ideas to improve more better findings in English language teaching and learning process. Okay, I think that's all uh, my presentation today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.